Today we're getting pretty serious. It's an XFX R9 Fury X, AMD's best graphics card right now, and it also sports high bandwidth memory. Let's check this thing out. So something I want to mention about this graphics card unboxing, uh, it's the XFX version as you can see. The box read looks cool by the way, in my opinion at least, but the unboxing should be pretty similar for pretty much every R9 Fury X because they're all basically AMD coolers, like there's no aftermarket coolers on Fury, on Fury Xs, at least right now. I mean I guess it could supposedly happen, but um, at this point it's not um, happening, so yeah. Um, so in case you guys don't or don't know anything about the uh, Fury X, it has uh, you know, four gigabytes of, uh, you know, very high bit, high bandwidth memory, which is cool, right? High bandwidth memory. So it's really high bit, but I think it's really low um, something, but it kind of evens out to make it around the same performance of an R of a GTX 980 Ti from what I've seen online. Although I will have my own, own benchmark video myself in the future, so watch out for that. Um, so what's crazy about this card? I mean, AMD graphics, all this crap looks pretty general. DirectX 12, which is cool. It says HDMI, but I'm still pretty confident that this doesn't have HDMI 2.0. So I don't even know why it says HDMI because it only has HDMI 1.4, which is not capable of 4K at 60 Hertz. And this card is most likely pretty good for 4K, especially with that hand high bandwidth memory. So let's check out the power requirements before we get into this unboxing. So it looks like you need a PCI Express slot. You need 750 watts or greater with two 150 watt eight pin connectors, which is pretty hefty to be honest. You have to have at least eight gigabytes of system RAM, which is pretty high as well, because I actually only have eight gigabytes of RAM on my computer. So uh, I'm glad that it's not higher than that because it wouldn't work on my computer. Um, so that's a really weird requirement to be honest. I don't really know why. Installation requires a a CD drive, a keyboard, a mouse, and a display. Why does it even say that on there? Um, and then DVD playback, what the fuck? Okay, I don't know what it's talking about there. 64-bit operating system, I guess that's an interesting thing. And it works with Windows 7, 8.1, and Windows 10, but it doesn't mention 8. Um, I hope it still works on 8. I don't know why the hell it wouldn't, but okay. And it works on Linux, I guess, which is cool. But um, that's nothing too crazy, I guess. Um, I don't really think it says too much else interesting on the box, to be completely honest. It has like some uh, features right there, which isn't really too exotic, in my opinion. All right, as we get into the box, I'll tell you guys about Cutting Edge Gamer, which is how I um, am basically able to afford these graphics cards. Um, and if you guys already know about Cutting Edge Gamer, you can skip into the video because, um, you know, if you're interested, that's cool. If you're not interested, that's fine as well because. You know, it's Cutting Edge Gamer isn't for everybody, but the whole idea of Cutting Edge Gamer is you get to lease graphics card, uh, you pay monthly for them, and then um, that cuts down the price uh, by monthly, of course. Cutting Edge Gamer also has some other really cool benefits, like uh, if your graphics card ever breaks, they'll send you a new one like right away, which is awesome. You don't have to worry about RMA processing and all that BS. Um, let's see, shipping is free, of course, which is cool. You can upgrade whenever you want, which is, by the way, how I get so many graphics cards. Um, I actually do have to send the old one back, though, whenever I get a new one. Um, but uh, Cutting Edge Gamer is pretty awesome, so check out. I have a link in the description below if you guys want to check it out, if it sounds interesting to you. If it doesn't sound interesting, let's get into this unboxing, and let's check out the R9 Fury X. All right, so I've never used a water-cooled PC part, like, ever in my life, basically. So this will definitely be a brand new experience, but let's just see how it goes. Uh, warranty card, which I don't need to worry about because it's Cutting Edge Gamer. Uh, let's see, driver CD install guide, who cares? Driver CD, which is cool. Um, and let's see, it's 15.15 drivers. Um, so that's pretty modern, actually, not, not bad at all. And here is the graphics card here, what's this? Oh, we got some screws because um, the R9 Fury X is water-cooled, like I said, and you need to screw the, um, like the water block in, which is this part right there. So that's cool. By the way, this box is huge for, <laughs> for a graphics card, by the way. But uh, let's see if we can get this puppy out of here. It seems like it's, <laughs> there's a lot of padding in here. Holy crap, wow. Okay, whoa. Wow, there's a lot of, a lot of packaging here, holy bejesus. Important warning, handle your PCI Express card with blah, 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 never bend your graphics card. How would you bend it, or 
How would you bend a graphics card? How is that gonna happen? Oh, uh, let's start off with the slightly, I guess, more boring part. Um, here's the radiator, which is pretty thick. I've seen in other reviews it has this little extension right there, which is um, cool. I guess it allows it, actually, I think this is the extension part right here, actually. Allows it to hold some more water, which should give you more um, cooling, uh, I don't know, ability, I guess, everything. Um, I noticed one other thing, that the fan has this ring around it. It actually goes very, very deep, that ring. I don't know if you can really see that too much with the lighting. Yeah, you can kind of see that. The ring actually goes pretty deep, which is uh, kind of interesting. But uh, I think that should cut down on vibration or something like that. And I think I've heard, no wait, the pump has coil line. So I'll talk about that more in my benchmark video, but I can't really talk about that here because the product actually isn't you know, on and everything. And uh, ooh, let's take off this plastic. Yeah, it says F XFX, look at that. So I guess that's like the only difference with the FX XFX version uh, compared to like other versions. It has a cool sticker, so I guess that's cool. Um, but uh, looks at look at this all braided cord and everything. Looks pretty damn sweet. There's the cord for the uh, for the uh, fan course, which is cool. Although I like that it's braided, but why did they like they like stopped the braiding before they got to the inside of the fan? Like what what are they doing there? <laughs> um, so AMD, what's up with that? And if you guys want to see all the fins and everything, there's a whole crap ton of them, so that's pretty sweet. And I guess here's the mounting holes if you're going to mount it on uh, on the back of your case, which most people mount it like uh, on the back fan exhaust part. Um, so I guess this is probably pushing, I think. Yeah, this looks like it's a pushing position, pushing outside of the case. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So very, very fun. And I think it's 120 millimeter. Pretty sure it is. I'll confirm that in my benchmark video properly, or maybe when I'm rendering this video. Rendering this video, that makes sense actually. Okay, so enough of the fan, let's move on to the graphics card itself, which by the way, is very tiny. Um, I am kind of surprised to see it in person, so how tiny it is to be honest. Uh, very, very cool. Um, very, one thing first I want to mention, I've seen most new graphics cards these days have like protectors for the PCI Express and for all like the display ports and everything. This does not, which is really surprising to be honest. I'm really kind of surprised it doesn't have that. Um, I guess it's fine, but um, I really was expecting that, especially with such a high-end card. You know, it's like 650 bucks. You kind of expect that. Um, there's the four display ports, um, which is nothing too crazy. It is two slot card, in case you guys were wondering. A lot of um, like uh, water cooled graphics cards are only one slot. At least like if you do it like aftermarket, you could make it one slot. But this is two slots, which is pretty unfortunate. Then there's also that HDMI point, or HDMI port I want to talk about. In the review or, uh, or benchmark video I do of it, of course, I'll tell you guys if this is 4K 60 hertz capable. I'm pretty sure it isn't, but if it is, then I will be a glad, glad person. There is the rubber texture of like the, uh, you know, the, uh, I guess, I, I don't know. What do you call this? Like a shroud, I guess, or something? I don't know what the hell you call it. And there's this Radeon with uh, some, some nice uh, shiny, shiny, uh, which is cool. It's a lot harder to like show you guys this graphics card whenever like it's attached attached to like a fucking water block, um, but it's fine I guess. Um, I also want to mention like this whole right here thing. Um, you can I guess apparently swap it out because it has screws and do like whatever design you want on it, which is very cool of AMD to do. Let's check out the back of the graphics card and actually let's check out the power inputs. You have to, I mean, like I said earlier, two eight pins. And actually an interesting thing about this has LEDs in there. And I believe the LEDs show you how much power draw is the, the graphics card is taking in, which is very cool. And it's actually like in a position you'll be able to see it, which is pretty cool as well. Um, so very nice. And actually, if you look inside there, you can see yeah, just a little faint bit of a copper pipe in there. So very cool. And actually, what the hell is this? Oh, look, there's a little switch right there. Oh, look at that. Okay, and there's a like BIOS switch, I think, or something like that in there, which is cool. There's a back plate, which is cool. It's a, it's, it's actually a pretty um, not typical back plate. It's just like the whole rubberized, um, rubber, I guess. I don't know, rubberized plastic or something? I don't know, but it's not like a metal back plate, so. Um, but it still looks pretty cool. It's nice that they have a backplate, of course. That's where the uh, all the cables come out, which you don't really, I guess that's not really too interesting, is it? <laughs> okay, it looks like the tubing is approximately 
oh, 15 inches, 15 and a half inches, close to 16. Um, so I guess keep that in mind. Hopefully it's long enough for your needs. Um, I think it's really meant for the back exhaust fan to go there, but uh, yeah. All right, so there is the Fury X. Hope you guys liked it. Um, and I believe this might light up. If it does, I'll try to take a picture with my cell phone and put an annotation on the video right now. But it uh, looks like a very cool graphics card. Um, I don't know if it'll really be worth it because I think it's about the same performance of a, of a GTX 980 Ti, which I really liked a lot. That graphics card was crazy good. And if you're interested, I have a benchmark video on my channel. That card was fast as hell. And I'm really excited to benchmark this video, even though I probably won't be able to do it at 4K, which is kind of disappointing, but you know, we'll just see how it goes. Anyways, drop a like on this video if you found it interesting. If you uh, want to subscribe to my channel, be sure to do that. I'll have a benchmark of this video in the future if you are interested about that. Um, otherwise, thank you guys for checking out this video. And I'll see you later. Peace out.